Hello, it's Howard Rheingold. I was originally attracted to personal computers in the early 1980s when they weren't very powerful because I bought into the vision of Doug Engelbart and others that they would grow into true mind amplifying devices. I used the words group mind and writing as a performing art to describe the first virtual community that I came upon, The Well, which was an outgrowth of the Whole Earth Catalog in the 1980s. And it happened to be based on the forum, sometimes known as message board or BBS medium. So to me, forums can become a very powerful tool for building community and enabling groups to have extended discussions about many topics. If four people want to talk about one subject and each sends just one email about that subject to the list every day, that means there are four emails in every person's mailbox for that discussion that day. So, so far, not bad. If each person sends two emails because they're talking about two different subjects or because they have two different things to say about that subject that day, that means eight mails in every participant's mailbox. If four people discuss four topics and post to each one of those topics only once each day, that's 16 emails coming to each participant per day. If 10 people want to discuss 10 subjects and each person sends one email to each of the 10 subjects, each participant will have 1,000 emails in their inbox after 10 days. What if you wanted 100 people to talk about 100 subjects for 10 months? That's where forums come in. Instead of all those emails and all those email boxes, you can go to a well-organized site where individual posts are arranged into threaded discussions. When I first started using a modem to explore BBSs in the 1980s, social cyberspaces were only text. But now you can include graphics and even embed videos in posts in forums. The social media classroom, which will launch in the fall of 2008, will have complete how-to documentation included. Here, however, are a few brief motion screenshots to show how forums can be used to organize discussion topics by thread and how to navigate through posts and through levels of discussion. Forums are collections of discussions and I'm going to click on the technology forum which is in itself a collection of discussions. And I'm going to go to one of those collections of posts which is about biotechnology in this case and this is known as a thread and I'm going to go to the end of the thread and add my two cents worth and in this case I'm just going to enter text. I'm going to give it a subject, a title, and then I'm going to type text into this box. I can also include graphics or even embed videos. And I can then post it and see what I've just posted. Good Forum software enables you to click once and navigate to the first unread post in your collection. And as you can see, you can have images and formatted HTML in forum posts. And I can, again, add a post at the end of the thread by typing it into the, the post box. And then I can click Post and Go and go directly to the next unread post in my list of discussions. Or I can click Pass, and that will also take me to the next unread post. You can even embed a video widget in a forum post, which means that the video will play 
my recent experiences in, in using social media. And if you go along the thumbnails at the bottom of this video, you can find responses and click on one and play it. Hi, Howard. Uh, I really like this topic and um, not only... You can stop it and if you click reply, you will get an authentication box and if you have an account on the Seismic service, you could reply to this. So you could have a conversation going on in video and text at the same time. If you want to join the community of practice, please email me at howard at rheingold.com and I will notify you when we launch. Thank you.